Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope that you're doing okay. Today we're going to be doing a devotion and this devotion is called Fear. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Fear. Jesus said, don't be afraid, just believe. Mark 5, 36. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalms 34, 4. I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Isaiah 41, 13. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Be strong and courageous. Joshua ten twenty five. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. 1 John four, eighteen. The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Hebrews thirteen. Six. If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans eight thirty one. Everyone, just take your time reading these verses and going back over them in your hearts and minds and just meditate on these verses. They mean so much to our heart and spirit. And we need them. We need God's encouragement every day. I know I sure do. I hope y'all um, know that you need them too. If you hear noises in the background, guys, I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, a lot going on here today. But I'm back here in my bedroom, so. Okay. So the next says, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. John fourteen twenty seven. When I am afraid, I will trust in you, O Lord. Psalms 56, 3. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry, 1 Chronicles, 1 Chron Chronicles twenty eight twenty. I'm sorry, guys. I looked at that wrong. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalms 23, 4. Okay. Strengthen the feeble hands and steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come, He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Isaiah 35, 3 and 4. You will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. 
have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being snared. Proverbs three, twenty-three through 26. Walking Unafraid Sometimes we fear people who may do us harm. Those in authority may fire us or those who dislike us may injure our reputation. We may violate our own conscience. So we don't offend those who make sure their opinions are heard. But when we fear what people will think, we become ruled by changing whims and fashions. We become ruled by changing whims and fashions. We are ruled more by our self-interest and our fears than by our love for others or for God. God promises that even if our boss fires us, our best friend gossips behind our back, or our teenager rolls her eyes when we insist on godly standards, God will surround us and protect us. David, who wrote Psalms 27, was unafraid because he knew God was his light and salvation. He put his complete trust in God and walked with confidence in the face of dangerous enemies. Today, our world keeps getting darker and darker. But with God as your stronghold, you can walk unafraid in this world. And always know that through your darkest times, always know that God is the light. Have a blessed day, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.